Women are easier to understand than the private servers. I've done complex calculus with derivatives and antiderivatives, but I, like many of you, still could not figure out how to join the private servers. So, I message Emmett Youngling, the leader, if you will, of Louis Planet Union, who run the biggest LBP private server to date, and he basically just sent me an instruction manual. We are going to be covering how to join the Project Lighthouse private servers for PS3, and in my next video, we're going to be covering how to join with RPCS3. So pick up your controllers and your depression off the floor. Floor, as you may be alone with no women to love you, but I can help you join these private servers. So who needs companionship and happiness? I got a cat for that. I may cover Little Big Refresh in a separate video, but for now, here are the full instructions on how to join the Beacon private servers. To join the servers, you will first need a CFW or HFW PlayStation 3 patched LBP 1, 2, or 3 eboot file, a PC or Linux computer, and a flash drive. If you're like me and you love your MacBooks built by child slaves in China, then you will probably not be able to join the private servers. If there's a workaround to this, of course, let me know in the comment section down below. Now to acquire the right hardware. We suggest grabbing a PS3 earlier than the latest model, such as a fat or a normal slim. The super slim can still play on LBP Project Lighthouse servers, but it can only use hybrid firmware and not custom firmware. More on that later. If you for some reason do not own a PS3, they are cheaper than the average boost juice in employee's yearly salary, sometimes going for only 100 USD. Keep in mind you will need to jailbreak your PS3, but jailbreaking your PlayStation 3 is reversible if you ever want to go back to normal. Running homebrew utilities can actually extend the life of your console. For example, normal PS3s have a fan speed cap somewhere around 30%. Homebrew can make the fan spin faster to keep your PS3 cooler. What you're probably worried about which is the risk of being banned, which is low. Of course, I am basically just reading off the article, so if you want to have the full instructions at your disposal, the links to everything you will need, such as the downloads you're going to have to undertake, and of course the full article itself will of course be linked in the description down below. You will need to either install a CFW or HFW depending on your console. I'm not going to directly instruct you on the jailbreaking aspect of this process as well. Yes, I may be known as the sexiest man of all time, alongside Steven Iron Swouse Mouse, not even the Nerdy Ant 64 can tell you how the this works. So Union has kindly linked some very detailed tutorials which I will also link in the description. Whether you use HEN or CFW, there are some additional instructions you must follow which will once again be linked in the description but should be pretty self-explanatory. You will now need the following homebrew applications installed to your PS3 to continue the connection to the custom servers. Multiman, a file manager for PS3, and Webman, homebrew tools that allow you to transfer files between your computer and your PS3 easily, as well as many other features. Now your PS3 can run unsigned code. Congratulations! Now it's time to modify your copy of Little Big Planet. The file we need to modify is called eboot.bin. This is where much of the game's binary data is stored. Make sure to not share around your eboot files because just like how sharing explicit pictures is illegal without consent, so is sharing your eboot files. Luckily for us, Union is here to hold our hand with Union Patcher, a utility that allows you to remove remotely patch your eboot.bin file from your computer. This requires you to have Webman mod installed on your PlayStation 3. Here's how to do it. Download the latest version of Union Patcher, extract the zip file to a folder of your choice, download the .NET 6.0.5 desktop runtime. Linux users can use this alternative download. Double click on unionpatcher.windows.exe on Windows. Linux users should find unionpatcher.linux. Start up your PS3. If you have hand enable it, make sure webman is running, press the start and select button at the same time on your controller. A notification will appear with your PS3's local IP address. Keep track of this, it may change every time you reboot. Find your game's title ID, it should be written on the side of your box. In Union Patcher, type the local IP address of your PS3 into the appropriate box. Type your game's title ID, paste the server URL of your choice, click patch. Make sure to check that your webman settings are enabled 
labeled correctly. Then for disk users, you'll find the tile ID of your game on the side of the box. Right on the side of your box right there. Sometimes this tile ID will be incorrect or you may have a digital copy. In these cases, you should refer to the table below to test for other tile IDs. IDs starting with BC are physical copies and IDs starting with NP are digital PSN copies. Also keep in mind if you do not have a compatible computer, you may not be able to join this way and you will need other tools to access these servers. So hopefully in a future tutorial will become available for those people. Now, if you have the custom software, here is how to actually connect to Beacon. Power on your PS3. If you have HEN, enable it. Go to the PSN sign-in screen. If Webman is working correctly and you have HEN enabled, it will force you to press R2 and triangle at the same time to clear your site's calls. You may need to do this multiple times before you can sign in. Start up your patch version of Little Big Planet. If you did everything right up until this point and Beacon is online, you will be greeted by an announcement screen with further instructions. Congratulations! There are now some additional instructions on how to finish setting up your accounts. The next thing you'll need to do is set your email address. This will allow you to sign into Beacon's website to access your profile, see levels, privacy settings, and more. To set your email, type the phrase slash set email in Little Big Planet while connected to the server, replace your email with an email address of your choice, then press enter to send the message. After some time, you will receive an email from us so you can set up your account. On the Beacon website, click on the authentication tab. When you connect to the server, an authentication request will appear here. If you recognize the IP address as your own, click approve. This will link your PSN account to your Beacon account. You'll only have to do this once. Congratulations, you have successfully connected to the private servers. If you have any problems with this process, because I barely understand it myself, tell me in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to help you in any way I can. But there are some additional forums you can check out with people who will be very happy to help you. And of course, we can get plenty of help on the LBP Union Discord server. All the links will be in the description. But thank you all for watching part one. In my next video, we're gonna be covering how to join for PC. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.